Seems like camp's going pretty well for you. What do you think are the biggest areas you've kind of grown at? Um, just kind of knowing the scheme, trying to make sure my eyes is all good, and just continue to come work every day, come compete every day. What was last year like for you? You know, obviously physically it was tough fighting through injury, but just mentally being on the sideline, and what is it like being back out there? Um, last year it was tough being hurt, but you know, I was still in the building, so I mean, I could still get better. I mean, even if I was out of the building, I'd still be trying to rehab or something. But it was a big mental, mental thing. Watch film, get in the meetings, just learning like all the calls, trying to learn as many calls as I can. And like I said, it was it was mental. And whatever they had me doing physically that I couldn't do on my foot, I did that too. But it was a it was a big jump for me mentally. Um, I still had a great time, even though. I was hurt just because I was able to be in the building, able to be around the guys. So uh, my motto is, you know, still in the building. What was the actual injury of the foot? What, what, how did it happen, and what did you end up having that? Um, it was a Jonesy fracture um, on special teams, being a gunner. Tried to, um, like, press forward, kind of split a vice, and it just popped. And had surgery and rehab. Like, I guess, like everybody got to do when they get hurt, just rehab. Did Dr. Anderson do surgery here? Yes, sir. Hey, Keaton, when you go back two years ago, you're coming out at Colorado. What was the conversation as far as the cornerback spot? Were a lot of teams looking at you there? Is that something that Green Bay liked? Like, what was sort of the, the thought process as you entered the NFL? Well, some of the staff basically at Colorado, like my, my head coach and my academic coordinator, and you know, just scouts come in and out. I guess they were giving rumors about me possibly if I wanted to make a transition. Um, I was definitely willing to make a transition. So I was kind of giving a heads up, but I did a little bit of drills while I was training for, you know, um, pro day. So I did wide receiver and corner drills. And whichever one, whichever, you know, whatever team, a team wanted from me, receiver or corner, I was willing to do. I mean, I'm kind of happy to be a DB. I really kind of did want to be a DB. So, but yeah, it was whatever the, whatever teams wanted, whatever gave me a shot to be in this league, I was willing to do. What did it mean to you that the Packers still kept you on the 53, even though they put you on on IR, just to, to kind of keep you in the fold the way they did last year? Um, it meant a lot. Like I said, just to, just to be in a building, um, even though I was hurt, just to be here, um, be with the team. Just be able to be in the stadiums, watch the games, it meant a lot. It let me know that, you know, you still here, you can still improve. Don't get down on yourself. Come to work every day, just like normal. And I mean, that was it. So it, it felt good and I'm very grateful. A lot of guys trying to make a roster spot, get an injury like that, that's obviously the, not the worst thing that, that can happen. Were there any ever any doubts in, in your mind after that injury or how did you kind of navigate that mentally? Um, as soon as it happened, I was kind of down, like at that moment, just, you know, I can't believe this happened in camp and this and that, you know, just trying to make that roster spot and kind of when you get hurt, you kind of feel like your destiny is out of your hand. Um, but just like another play or any other scenario, you know, you got to keep going. Whether they would have let me go at that time or whether they would have kept me, I just had to keep going. So. I mean, that's how, that's basically how it was for me. I was down as soon as it happened. But like you said, they kept me around and I, I didn't have anything else to do but watch film and get better mentally. So that's what I did. Kevin, do you ever even peek at the offensive playbook um, in just in case an emergency thing or your receiver days done? Oh, my receiver days are most likely should be done. Uh, <laughs> I've seen just some of the calls and offenses, like playbooks now is way tougher than it looked in college. But I, I got so much on my plate as far as playing corner and being a defensive back. Like I'm trying to, I don't have time to look at receiver stuff. I don't, I don't need to worry about any of that <laughs> because I'm, I have a new job, I'm on the defense now. And I really enjoy defense. So I got to learn everything about a defense. And that's going to be kind of for the rest of my career. So I'm. Not really worried about all this stuff. What was the hardest thing about making the transition? Was there one particular aspect of it that took you like the longest in this game? Or, or what was that like? 
just learning how to do everything backwards, literally. Like, you know, we everybody used to walking forward and learn how to do everything backwards. Um, learning the defense, it was it was kind of fine, but yeah, just trying to learn how to do the same technique over and over and over again, going backwards and making sure my eyes are good. I can't. As a receiver, you know, you used to run the route, and as soon as you run your route, you make your break and you look at the quarterback. I can't do that anymore. So that's something I had to fix. You know, when receiver make a break, I have to break to the receiver. The quarterback ain't throwing my coach said the quarterback ain't throwing you the ball. So that was like just the biggest thing, trying to get the technique down. And I'm still trying to get the technique down, still fixing my eyes, whatever, just whatever it takes. But I mean, I'm pretty competitive, so I feel like that's what's been helping me a lot. As you uh, learn the position, do you expect your natural ball skills to start playing into it, where you can start you know, using your hand, which you used as a receiver, to you know, make plays on balls that maybe other corners can't? Definitely. Um, that was kind of a transition, understanding that you have to put yourself in position to make a play on the ball, and that's what I'm continuing to try to do now. But when I finally get in that position, I'm pretty sure that you know my ball skills will take over and the athleticism will take over. And but right now, I'm just focused on getting in that position. So. I think you've had four PBUs in team drills in camp too on family night, but your first one was in the two minute against Rogers. What, what was that moment like for you, and, and what do you remember about that play? Um, for me, it was another play that I just had to win, that I was trying to win. Um, just another rep, and I'm trying to make the most of my reps, no matter who it is, no matter whether it's Rodgers or Jordan or, you know, Devonte or Malik, it, whoever it is, I just, that's what I have to guard. And, I mean, if, it always feels good to make a play, but I got to get over it because the next play, they could have threw a bomb on my head, and this would be a whole different conversation right now. <laughs> Is there any part of your receiver background that you think helps you now at cornerback, at least sort of having that, you know, in your back pocket and, and knowing, you know, what the receiver's looking for? Um, definitely just ball skills. It's kind of different now with splits and everything. I do understand splits a little bit, but receivers now are running anything and everything from anywhere and everywhere. Um, I kind of do feel like I have a feel for sometimes when receivers are breaking down, but I try not to make sure I'm not guessing trying to make sure I'm reacting and playing with good technique. So I kind of try to leave a lot of the receiver stuff at home. Unless the ball is in the air, then that's when the real receiver stuff comes out. Going back to learning that you made the team instead of getting the release with the injury last year, what what, what was that conversation like? Who, who, to, who told you and, and how did that conversation go? Um, I kind of don't remember it. Um, I guess I just got to the news, and I really don't remember that, to be honest. Okay. I was just around, and I stayed around. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what's this past year been like with Jerry Gray? Obviously, is a guy that played the position, has been a long-time coach of the position. In, in what ways do you feel he's kind of helped your game and in, in learning everything? Uh, I feel Gray has really not only me, but I guarantee you the whole room, just a general knowledge on football. Just understanding situational ball, understanding where to be within the defense, you know, understanding where your where your help is, where you're kind of vulnerable. And that's one of the biggest things that he that he has coached, just making sure that we know the game. Anything else from the room? All right, we're going to go one question on Zoom. Go ahead, Sarah. Yeah, it's actually two on the leader. Hey, I remember talking to you at your locker back in 19 in that back locker room. Um, what did you feel like the DB? Or is um, there a point where, you know, this, this feels natural to me now? Um, it might sound a little weird. I felt like a DB when I stepped in the building. Uh, that's because I had to. I didn't, I didn't have a choice. And... I couldn't step in the building saying, you know, I'm a wide receiver covering y'all. That, as good as that sounds, I, I wasn't a wide receiver anymore. So it, it felt like as soon as I stepped in the building, that's because I had to realize that I am a DB now. And every day I'm continuing to learn how to be a DB. So 
I am a DB. I feel like a DB. I'm going to continue to improve my game as a DB. And last one, Darius Joshua. Hey, give me the when uh, obviously signing last year, you went through the whole offseason and, and you had that, that offseason before getting injured. This time around, you have the opportunity to preseason games. I guess, how excited are you guys to play in the game? You know, it's just preseason again and actually have a chance to play and, and you know, showcase the skills you've worked on for two years now. I feel great. Uh, I try not to be too high, I try not to be too low, but I feel wonderful just to have the opportunity to play again, even though it's preseason. But for me, it's trying to make this roster spot, and it's just another opportunity for me to get out there, showcase my skills, show that I know the defense, and show that I can play football, and play football at a high level. So it feels great to have a preseason game and all, but I got to make sure that I'm executing in that. I don't get my emotions caught up in everything with, you know, getting hurt and playing in one preseason game my rookie year. So try not to be too high, try not to be too low, and focus that I need to execute.